Now, in matters politics, a committee of the Senate has resolved to proceed with the impeachment process of the Taita Taveta governor, Granton Samboja, after he refused to respect its authority. This is after the governor obtained a high court order restraining the Senate from proceeding with the process. The special committee rejected objections from the governor that the proceedings of the committee be stopped pending the completion of a case already pending in court. Efforts by Teta Taveta Governor Granton Samboja to halt the process by Senate Special Committee from investigating the grounds raised by MCAs to impeach him have today hit a snag. This is after the chair of the Special Committee, Embo Senator Njerun Riga, said that despite Governor Samboja snubbing the committee invite over a High Court order, they will continue as scheduled. Oh, senators, ladies and gentlemen, the committee takes cognizance of Rule 10, Part 2 of the 5th Schedule to the Senate Starting Orders, which provides that where the county assembly or the governor chooses not to appear before the committee, that fact shall be recorded by the committee and the committee shall proceed with its investigation without further reference to the assembly or the governor. Governor Granton Samboja, through his lawyer Nelson Harvey, faulted the Senate for proceeding with the probe despite a court order. Harvey said the Senate will be violating its own standing orders that bar the House from transacting a matter before a court of law. Justice Weldon Correa granted the order on Thursday, pending hearing and termination of a fresh application filed by Governor Samboja. Subjudice in the manner understood in the practice of law is that where a matter is pending before a court of law, no other individual should deliberate upon it with a view to arriving at an outcome either similar or dissimilar to the outcome intended by a court of law. Granton Samboja's lawyer claimed that MCA is contravened the law in passing the motion to impeach the governor. Lawyer Nelson Harvey revealed that Governor Samboja was not given an opportunity to explain himself on the charges leveled against him by the members of the county assembly. In the charges read before the committee, the county assembly accused the governor of misappropriation of funds and failure to use the county budgets prudently. They further accused the governor of failing to complete projects initiated by the previous governor for political reasons and failure to submit before the county assembly an annual report on the implementation of the budget. The governor has never submitted an annual report on the implementation status of the county policies and plans as prescribed by the law thus making it difficult and almost impossible for the county assembly to keep track of development and service delivery in the county. This failure has equally denied the county a common direction towards service delivery and programs implementation in the quest to deliver the development agenda of the people of this great county of Taita Taveta. The 11-member special committee has nine days to investigate and file a report with a recommendation on whether to support or throw at his impeachment that was unanimously passed by 30 MCAs in the House. Teta Taveta Governor Grant and Samboja is the fifth governor to be impeached by the county assemblies. Irene Mwangi, KUTV, Nairobi.